Hello there and welcome back to this playthrough of Dark Souls 2 on NG+. We're doing Harvest Valley in this one and I prepared myself with a little bit of armor that is resilient to poison. I also have a few items that are gonna help out in that regard. Alright, let's start off by buffing. Taking one of these... There we go. I'm probably gonna pick up all the items here now. Wake up. Look how slow I get poisoned. I also have the poison by ring, don't I? Let's put that on. Boom. The oh my god, it's almost at a standstill. I think if this armor had been upgraded, you can actually check. Uh, oh. Dude. <laughs> How can I hit you on the first one, but you parry me on the second one? That doesn't work. This weapon is too quick for that. Obviously, the enemies have, like, special properties. But, you know, since since you're stunned, you can't follow it up with a parry. Parries do have, um, like, a startup animation. Let's see. Can I see how much... I don't want to spend too long though. Uh, what the heck do you see that? Player, st isn't it player status? Yeah, poison. No, I, I don't know where to see it. I don't remember. I think you can see that like Macduff when you infuse with his menu. Wait, with a ring, right? If I go here and I go like this, there we go. Here I can see it. 796, so I think 999 or a thousand or whatever would be maximum poison defense. A lot of these things are fading souls, you see. Yeah. Whoa. Don't parry me though. That's the wrong spell. I didn't mean to do that at all. This guy's about to mock my day up. Follow me down here. No, it's fine. Uh, don't worry about it, it's fine. Oh, you guys just jumped down. I was expecting you to take the bloody ramp like a normal goddamn person. Let me guess, you're gonna have to take it up, don't you? Yeah, no, the other one. <clears throat> Skeleton's weak to fire, love it. I wish you stop mocking about it. Eh? Enemies never do what you want them to do. You know, when you're trying to split the enemies up, they stick together. When you're trying to have them together they split up like what is up with that and yeah they love blocking because their shield is basically a, a magic shield infused with flipping every goddamn uh, drug ever and it also has the properties of havels in terms of stability it's just like there's no there's no drawback to their <laughs> to their overpoweredness i struggled that much with three skeletons are you kidding me gavlan you didn't do anything i guess i'm gonna have to go home Go home. Raw and pale, that doesn't change. Uh, I think down here is a divine blessing. I can go ahead and pick that up. I do need to use this. No, wait, what is it? Boom. This helps out quite a bit. Fire seed, wicked. Uh, fire is the people in Harvest Valley's weakness. I am pretty certain. That's why I'm using that. Oh, they can drop something, yeah. Ten throwing knives, that's nice, or poison ones. Can I pick this stuff up in peace? Is that alright with you? Jeez Louise. The rudeness. I'm just looting your flipping <laughs> establishment. Next up, um, hell, <laughs> this is so difficult, these women here are so hard, and they're actually strong to magic, so, let's put on the dispelling ring, because it does protect me a little bit against fire, frost, and lightning, now it protects against the elements a little bit, they have that attacked us a lot, and they also have the, <clears throat> well, every single attack they, they do, 
Piesta's flask is great, but damn, it doesn't do that much damage anymore. No, I didn't mean to roll off. Oops. If they do that one, the one she's doing, when I'm next to them, that's what's the most dangerous. I'm pretty sure it would be a one bomb. Up here you have what? More hexing urns? I don't know if these items have changed, that's why I'm picking them up. Ten hexings, yeah. Hit me. Boom, boom. Very oh. If you have a slow weapon, they could potentially hit you as you're following it up. But uh, those ladies have a chance of dropping Lingering Dragon Ring plus one, I believe it is. Um, which is really good, in my opinion. Hey, take it easy. I haven't given you permission to do that. Hang on. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my good god. hi -ya. Let's get all three. Oh, this guy moved a little closer. Come on. Yes. Got him. You have to have a certain amount of stamina. Guys, please. Let's talk about this like civilized folk. <laughs> I'm just, I don't care. I don't want to fight him. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's any need to change anything. Like spell wise. Let's put this on because it can hit through enemies. Okay, whatever you say. I uh, I cannot get invaded. I, I'm not sure if that it's counting f uh, from the previous NG+. Plus. I see a red phantom in between the, the planks. I think that guy will be able to destroy those on his own. So I won't have this guy do it this time. No, come on, here. That doesn't have a certain amount of damage. Please kill. Oh, I could have potentially died. If he hits you with his hand and with his spell, Bob could be your uncle in that scenario. No, I missed. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, yeah, that's right. Look, look. <laughs> Are you kidding me? They're trying to, like, bamboozle me. That doesn't happen in the normal version of the game. All right, let's try to keep them here as long as possible. Up here, basically. Come on, two twice. Because that's a triple. That's not a kill. There we go. Nice. I got him. I would have retreated down below if uh, if I had to. I still may. What the hell? Okay, fine. Do you guys come, come with? They might. If they do, that's a problem because there's a skeleton below. Oh boy, here we go. Don't you bother. Don't you try it. I'm watching you. Well, imagine if they made uh, have two skeletons here, and uh, <clears throat> they blocked they blocked the way basically. That would be shitty. Hurry, mm, poisoned. Damn it, Craig. It's all right. It's all right. Listen, we're prepared. So now I can just loot your area without worrying about it because all of you have been pulled away. It's fine by me. I don't care. Oh yeah. There are some skeptic and skeptic and simpleton here. No, they did not like that one bit. They're like, you're gonna lose my what? Take it easy there. You can get trapped inside these little hoots or holes or whatever. No, don't do that attack. These guys cannot be staggered, so it's like um, I can't really. I have to backstab or just keep out of their range. <laughs> they have trapped me in there before, it's pretty bad. Whoa, where the hell did that fire snake go? Oh, it followed after that guy, you see that? I didn't even see him. No, I didn't mean to do that, they're coming back. Get him. You guys better drop something, this is just the worst. You're so strong, it's absurd. Uh, Flame Swathe worked really well against them. Everything else is not, that, not doing so hot. <laughs> Talk about fire here. Boom. You want something that multi hits, you know? Well, I can hit multiple of them. That's ideally what I like. They are a lot quicker than you would think, so that's why I'm keeping keeping an eye out. Let me go. 
Thank you. Bye. I don't need to fight him. Listen, I don't need to prove anything. <laughs> this armor looks pretty cool though. I like... I don't know, it's just... um, Well textured. I don't know why I like it so much. You look like a pyromancer, you know? It's like a slightly... I don't know, better looking or more pleasing looking version of the tattered cloth armor. It's just satisfying for me to use. <clears throat> Okay, um, let's do this. Let's just focus fire on one, so we can kill one, and potentially have it easier time with the other one. Is that one bomb? Yeah, he's dead. They can hit me from up here, by the way. Look at the little guy controlling him, like, yeah, do my bidding, minion. I should probably take a common fruit. <laughs> Those things are called common fruits, but they're they're anything but common. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, scheisse. Don't trap me in here. Oh my god, there's two of them. This does stun them, though. But And these guys get poisoned, so it's fine. I'm safe, alright? I'm safe. The fires of hell shall engulf you. I'm, <laughs> I'm totally trapped in here. Don't do what I did. <clears throat> was that three large before? I don't think so. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Chamalthan. I just picked up Chamalthan. Ow. That guy follows me to the ends of the hell. <laughs> the skeleton. Boom, run. <clears throat> I think that over there is a washing pole. I already done my laundry, so I don't need it. Well, I wonder why it's, it translates to that. Like a washing pole? Why is that a thing? Whoops. Uh, enter covenant, okay. Coolsies. Let's continue with the level then. I just want to be in the Sunlight Covenant in case I get summoned or I, ha or I can summon somebody. I most likely will. Maybe I'll do some co-op in the Iron Keep. Uh, people tend to do it there. More so than anywhere else. Or, you know, it's a pretty nifty hot spot for co-op. So is the crown of the old Iron King with Fume Knight. Just for some sunlight metal, some co-op. This guy, this woman usually does the kiss of death. She didn't do it this time. Alright, fine by me. Over there you have some poison, but I don't, I don't need whatever's over anywhere. Let's do the boss. Uh, Ring of Blades. It wouldn't do that much more damage since it's infused, but whatever. Oh, look at him. Let's go. This guy's weak to thrust. Mentioned that before. Yeah. Gluttonous creature. That attack does do, like, lingering damage. I thought I would be out of the range of it, but I guess not. It's not very good to use Blunt against him. He's not a difficult boss, but still. Can still mock you up. Ah, missed. <laughs> how, how did I miss, huh? Don't manhandle me like that. Whoa, he hit me before. Okay, so he hit me with his body there, then. He hit me before, like, his hand hit me, you know what I mean? Morning! Shot. Boom. Shot. Boom. There we go. Perfect. Against the mannequins. We could use this ring. Go back to... I mean, they do, do, they do bleed damage, don't they? Does this have a good thing against... No, it does not. This has good against bleed. And this is good against bleed. Let's put this on. Engrave gauntlets this for more poise the crown this a heavier shield dude we're decked out we're a decked out machine <clears throat> what will be good against them though scraps of life that comes up per pretty quickly better than flame swathe most likely let's use some scraps of life 
Hmm. Uh, this one, Force, I forgot the name there. Boom. Two fireballs is fine. I think this is good for now. Oops, crossing prayer. I didn't mean to do that. I meant force. There we go. Let me break these vases here. In case I have to fight the mannequins down here. Or something. Oh my god. Or oh, that happens. Jeez Louise. Oh, luckily it wasn't a player, but I did see the, the cracked orb in my screen so it wouldn't it wouldn't be a player this isn't exactly the most damaging forlorn you've invaded me so many times in this playthrough why couldn't you do that before like right now there's no real reason to fight forlorn because i already have every single piece of his armor it's not as fun he's not as threatening anymore i mean yeah yeah he still is but like it's not as fun before it would be more fun now it's just like ugh, this guy again are you kidding me Ooh, if I missed her, that would have been bad. Oh my god, that doesn't do anything. This guy's on every drug ever. Are you kidding me? Don't walk through the poison, you're gonna get god. I think he's gonna get... He's, he's gonna die of his own accord. Is he though? No, it didn't look like it was doing that much damage to him. Oh my god. That is so dangerous. Um, boom hit me yeah that's what happens oh oh look at him that's a shield but that's all right get him get him nice no i'll wait for you don't worry about it yeah yeah Ooh, ha. yeah this thing has good counter damage and it has side to side attacks i've mentioned it before but like i don't like when an enemy is quicker than me to use a slow weapon so that's why I use a quick weapon and also have a shield as backup in case um, I get cornered or something, you know, something of the like. Spurn the windmill. Do our duty. Wait, don't move. I like to wait for this guy to finish his gymnastics. So that I can get both of them at once. Rah. No, no, come over here. Sorry, right. don't worry about it. Scraps of life. Does this break the bosses too? Yeah, it does. Scraps of life. Pound, pound, pound. Break the bosses then. I'm being shot up by some guy on the other side of the world. <laughs> This is supposed to be an ambush later on. You have to fight all three at once. It's pretty bad. Um, yeah, when you push the enemies away like that, it can be pretty useful to have an attack that like moves you forward like this. Sup, Gilligan? Uh, I already have his miniature. I think I just want him to move to Majula, to be honest. You want to climb down here? I can lend you a ladder. What is it now? Psst. Have you heard? No, about the bird? Well, this monstrous lady. Yeah. He had feelings for another. She's gonna get us all burnt. The Lannister shield, ladder miniature. Wait, do I have to buy that again? I guess so. It wouldn't allow you to get two. Yeah, I guess you have to buy it again. Dude, you are so stingy, bro. Are you kidding me? You get to keep Kale's helmet, Falcon staff, and the feather, but not the ladder miniature. Let me tell ya, that is uh, that is not allowed. I, I mean, it is a key. You do they do remove all keys. Um, it counts as a key. But that ow. Oh. But then why not make the king's ring a key, you know? 
because uh, that is just an annoying thing that that's a ring you have to put it on and off you know look at those iron maidens being uh zip lined across to like the working area uh, that that's pretty cool i never noticed that before i've seen people walk across here and get mocked up by this guy because he like <clears throat> forces you to or he pushes you off so to speak when you're just walking he, he body blocks you as they say uh, I want what's under the elevator. I don't need mir the mirror shield again. So if you guys would be so kind. They can actually get killed by this trap if they uh, are underneath the mannequins. They're gonna throw a tantrum. You know what happens. Uh, I need paid for his... Hit me. Boom. Bam. Bam. Shazam. Run. Uh, I also have to talk to Creighton in the Shaded Forest area. Right, he gives me the clothes, that's duplicates, annoying, annoying. I just want his ten... His ten coins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, perfect. This is a trap chest. The skirt, do I have that? I think the skirt is the thing I have. Not gonna work, buddy. Oh my god, look at the stamina. <laughs> that was so much. Wow, that was crazy. This is a great shield, 65 stability. You kidding me? Whoa, what? What? In what world would I be locking onto the thing that's 15 floors below? Are you kidding me? That almost got me killed. <laughs> so dumb. This is the treasure that paid paid once. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous. Like, how does paid go from here all the way to Brightstone Cove, Soldora? He would have to go through Majula. He would have to go all the way back through the Huntsman's Cops to Majula and then start working his way towards Soldora. Creighton, right? You meet him in Huntsman's Cops, and the same thing happens to him. They, he also has to, like, backtrack. Um, but Pate has to backtrack even more. However, you meet Creighton again in the Shaded Ruins. And then in, in Brightstone Cove. That's when he says, like, oh. Pate is just up the way. He lives in Brightstone Cove down the way. I'll find him and sell the school. Nobody insults me like that. For the good... For the world and for my own honor. I don't let that boss live another day. Stay. Damn it, Greg. Boom. This can easily poison you. Obviously. Bow. <clears throat> you ready? I am. Come and show me what you've got. Alright then. He didn't want any of this. Let's see if these guys can drop me something. Hit me. I want to fight him out of this room, though, because of the desert sorceress. Oh boy, the poison! I am unpoisoned. Sorry. I was expecting it. Yeah. Hit her! Oh, man, she recovers so quickly. A lance can be pretty decent against her, but if you miss and you're right next to her, like because you missed, oh, that's bad. <clears throat> and also, like you can't. The Kiss of Death, I'm pretty sure, is quicker than any attack you can do, so you have to wait for that at least to come out. And so is Combustion, honestly. The Combustion attack she does, it's just... It's bad, but... As, like, a follow-up attack, once you've actually attacked... Having a Lance can probably be pretty decent. Boom, boom. Still a petrified something, alright. I did get the bonfire, good. Let's just drop down here and quickly heal. Because I believe this aggro is one of the Grey Wardens, but not both. Still a Poison Stone, alright. Hit me. Psych. I did this attack so that I would hit the guy on the ground as well. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Let's see, she's weak to magic. I mean, strong to magic. Uh, but I don't really have, I guess... And again, it's the same thing. She's also strong to thrust. Dude, I don't... Get those away from me. Uh, 
dark. I want to buff with something. I, poison? No, that's not going to work. Um, I could use this thing. Boom. Back to my original attire. Oh, there's another guy. That is just in case you were thinking about speedrunning the boss. This is like, nah. There's no speedrun strategies here happening, buddy. Backstab, no. Alright, then. I didn't have stamina to roll. <clears throat> oh yeah, I forgot the mimic chest room. Grave Warden's bottoms. I don't know if I want his bottoms exactly. Or his bottom. Force? That's what's happening. Yeah, just poison me. I don't even care. Bow. Bow. Uh, let's do this. Do this. Everything in that room dies. Poison moss can be pretty decent to farm. I guess this is a pretty good place to do it as well. So are the butterflies. No, 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 no. In the Huntsman's Cops. In Huntsman's Cops. No. Wait, wait. Oof. You big bully. He says as he's extinguishing their race. Eesh. No, you poison- uh, This mimic, I don't think has anything necessary. And there's, um, It would be the war cook and like the gloves, I don't need that. I guess it just is for the poison moss. Whatever. Uh, let's buff with fire at the very least. Do you have shower coal pine resin? No, I put it. What? I want to put the <clears throat> lightning then. Jesus. Um, boom. I was, uh, I was meaning to make a point of like keeping the charcoal pine resin on my character so that I could buff it for certain bosses. I mean, it's pretty much her and the scorpionist lady that that works on. Yeah, just get out of the pool. I'm gonna multi hit, hits like an absolute freight train. Uh, pretty much every other boss is not that useful to use fire against, right? Let's just take this opportunity to heal because she ex her head explodes. Not the greatest weapon, not the greatest buff, but what do you want, you know? She keeps doing like. Oh my god. You can't be between her and her head when she does that because the explosion is enough to like hit you there. That's why I went behind her. And you can cut off her tail, but I've never found that extremely useful. <clears throat> it can be useful on the rotten. The problem is that uh, scenarios like that when you can cut off enemies' tails, it's usually quite heavily uh, against you. Because here's the thing. If you are struggling with the fight, and you try to cut off the, you know, the dragon's tail, the rotten's tail, you are shifting your focus to hit him on a specific part of his body that when it's cut off, it's not going to benefit you that much. As a matter of fact, the rotten actually grows it back after a long enough time. And this also goes with poisoning bosses as well. Um, when you poison a boss, um, you have to spend resources doing that, which means that you're not using the, the, the optimal strategy or the weapon, or the optimal weapon because, you know, it's infused with poison or whatever. If you were to just hit him with his weakness instead of the poison, you would probably end the fight quicker. Same thing, same, same thing goes with the tail attacks, or the, with the cutting off the tail and stuff like that. You spend so much time doing it that it's not really worth it in the, in the long run. In my opinion, it's just not... It's not really good. <laughs> but it can be fun, fun to do though. Bear 6 Eclest. Next up is Iron Keep though. I'm gonna mock that place up royally. Um, boom, boom, boom. 104 agility. I need 105. I always forget to put on the... And she gave me the Silver Serpent too, didn't she? Um, I always forget to do that stuff. Alright, wait. Boom. And let's discard the plus one. There we go. That was it though. Thanks for watching this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.